anything that we can find out, we do find out, and we, we try to put the best people on board. The Moorhead School District found a loophole in the law and is trying to short circuit it. It's a law that overlooks school bus drivers when it comes to sex offenses. As it stands now, the school bus driver hauling your kids around could be a sex offender. They'd have to be convicted of a sex offense crime in order to be disqualified. If the case is still in progress, they can drive the bus. Tonight, Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer reports that Moorhead runs its own background checks on all potential candidates and has what you need to know when sending your kids off to school. They're supposed to keep your kids safe. You trust them every day to bring your child to school. But what if that bus driver was a sex offender? A loophole in Minnesota allows some sex offenders to get behind the wheel. We do everything we know how to do to, to make sure that our, our employees are on the up and up, um, free from any criminal violations that would put students at risk. The loophole is tricky. While convicted offenders are automatically disqualified from employment, the ones accused but not yet convicted are eligible. If we've got an individual who has never been caught or convicted, it's, it's impossible to do a background check on that because we can't know. We went to a former highway patrol captain. He did some research for us, and he says in North Dakota, there is no state law prohibiting sex offenders from driving school buses. He says the exception is if the offender is on probation. And transportation services don't just hire anybody. Valley Bus offers services for Fargo Public Schools. The general manager, John McLaughlin, tells us that if someone is a sex offender, it's an automatic no. He also says that a candidate must go through a number of screenings and background checks before even being considered. And in Moorhead, it's just as strict. Felony convictions are automatic disqualifications. Um, anything doing with uh, child abuse or, or sex offenses, things like that would be a disqualifier. Because there is no state law, individual school districts have their own policies, some of which work with transportation services to make the final decision on who they hire. In the FM area, Melanie Palmer, Valley News Live. Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton says he's shocked to hear about the loophole, and he tells our Twin Cities affiliate he plans on working with legislators who share his concerns.